Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, we started kind of nasty and ended nice, although we did see wind gusts uh, 35 miles an hour. Our morning low temperature was 65 degrees and the afternoon high 88, a full 10 above normal, but off the record of 97 set back in 1971. And all that drizzle and mist with the fog last night and early this morning did not amount to any official rainfall and our deficit continues uh, to go stronger as the drought deepens. We're in a moderate to exceptional drought as you go from east to west across the coastal bend and into the watershed out near Catula and beyond. And it's no surprise that our lake levels continue to drop across the board from Lake Corpus Christi, Choke Canyon and combined. We're down 1% from a month ago. This will start to accelerate as I've been talking about and I think we'll see 30% here before we get to 50%. That's gonna pose a big problem for our city leaders on what they're gonna do as far as uh, going into maybe stage two down the road. But uh, eventually we'll get some rain and this will all be a distant memory. We won't have to talk about it anymore. Total cut flood advisory is in effect until shortly after midnight tonight, higher than normal tides in area beaches. The high fire danger remains in place even though the fire weather warning has been extinguished, so to speak, it's expired. Lighter winds uh, until Saturday. That's one of the reasons right there, even though it's very dry outside. Cooler and drier tonight. Yes, we're going to see the 50s for low temperatures, unlike the 60s we had tonight. And isolated showers come back early Sunday. I think most of that around daybreak. The key word is isolated, and I think it'll be situated over the eastern half of the coastal bend that does include the city. So some of us will see a little bit of rain here on Sunday morning. That'll be nice, but you have to get up early to catch it. Still 85 right now. Winds are down to 13 miles an hour, and that 85 will translate into 73 after sunset and 64 at midnight, and we'll be down near 60 at 6 a.m. Of course, the low doesn't happen until about 15 minutes after sunrise tomorrow morning, and we should be in the mid-50s here with 60 at the Naval Air Station, 63 in Port Aransas, but 52 degrees in George West, 53 for Beeville, recovering to 88 in the dry air there tomorrow, and 90 in George West, 87 for Alice, and 81 here with 75 over on Mustang Island. The winds will continue to decrease here overnight. We'll get some radiational cooling. That'll be nice, but it gets breezy here tomorrow afternoon. And uh, then the winds are going to be uh, blowing pretty good here starting out Saturday morning, unfortunately, for the weekend and breezy on Saturday afternoon ahead of the next cold front. The beach forecast looks good for tomorrow, although clouds will be increasing late in the day with slightly choppy to occasionally choppy bay waters, but low rip current risk. Three to five foot seas. Satellite and radar shows that we've got clear skies over the area right now and a high fire danger with the front moving out. The dry air will continue to move in. We do have another frontal system that'll be arriving that'll draw in moisture and low clouds here on Saturday morning. And then that'll push into the North Texas by Saturday evening and be here on Sunday morning with a little bit of rain. 81 though tomorrow, 85 Saturday, but getting windy. Isolated showers here Sunday morning and cooler Sunday and Monday before it warms up Tuesday and Wednesday. The Wednesday front promises a little bit better opportunity for rainfall, believe it or not, Paul, along about Thursday of next week.